Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another Sword Art Online beta video. So, I've spent the last, you know, day and a half playing this game and kind of getting into it and figuring out what it's about. There's not a lot to do right now because, one, it is a beta and you're limited to pretty much the Gleam Eyes uh, boss battle and then a few like quest modes that they are going to update I think like tomorrow night and then some daily grindable quests so just gonna go through what the beta has to offer I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos um, even after the beta leaves for group one uh, going over like summon animations and gear so this is pretty much just an overview of the game as a whole so this is a gotcha game first and foremost I've had a lot of people ask me like is this a gotcha game Yes, there are summons, there are premium currency, these crystals up here. There is a scout slash summon slash banner over here. Right now we only have the one. And again, I think tomorrow night or tomorrow or Monday morning, one of the two, they're going to introduce a like a mono typing banner of like a fire rate up. So unfortunately, because it's a beta, we cannot see the rates for the summons because it's a beta and it's not a requirement by law. Um, so we can't see what the SSR pull rate is. Um, now when you do summon, there are, you know, characters you can pull. There are five SSRs in the game right now. There's the SSR Leafa, there's SSR Kirito, there's Liz, Silica, and Asuna. So if we go to character enhancement, we can see that these are the list of characters we have. There are SSRs. SRs and then rare units and those are the only three rarities right now and obviously there are multiple multiple versions of the same unit I mean we have three Leafas right here we have two Liz's we have two Silica's we have what now four Kirito's so they're all over the place but they all do different things so looking at this Kirito right here we can oh uh, da, 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 let's hold down on him there we go so he is a new start. He is blue, so like water, I guess, is what we're going to call it. So status ailment resistance. He's strong to burn, weak to sleep and rush, and kind of neutral to everything else. So his status, his uh, swift sword increases crit rate by 5% when attacking with element that is opponent's elemental weakness. So 5% crit rate when you're type advantage. That's what that means. His skills, normal attack, pretty normal. Crushing Break, Water Elemental Physical Damage, Power 280 with a 12 second cooldown. And then Physical Damage, Water 160 with a 10 second cooldown. Now this Rush Increase here is how much of a like a Rush Meter that you're going to build up when doing combos. And we'll go into the game and I'll show you that. His Finishing Skill, Non-Elemental Physical Damage, so he's Type Neutral Damage, 1200. Now this takes a little bit to get up to um, what we want to see. Again, we'll get to that. And then his switch attack, water elemental physical damage, power 130, own strength rank plus one when performing timely switch. So, <clears throat> again, these are all different factors and elements in battle itself. We will show those off. And then we have HP, strength, defense, and intellect. So, these obviously are what they are. Intellect is magic damage. So... Each character has this kind of stuff. So Kirito has different skills, different attacks that do different powers. He's got different stats. He has a different passive skill. Increases strength by 60% when HP is at 100%. So if you remain perfect and do not get touched, you will have an extra 60% damage boost. So, like I said, every character does something different. And then, every character and every summon you also can pull these ability cards, which are gear, soul boosting, uh, equipment, whatever you want to call them. They are additional effects that you can add onto a unit. So they give you stats, they have different levels, they have different rarities. So SSR, and then down here we have SR, and then down here we have R. So looking at this SSR, increases power of fire elemental skills by 80% if you're going type advantage, if your opponent's elemental weakness is fire, which this is really good because as we saw earlier in formation, or character enhancement, one of the two, that Kirito is fire. So you can put this Kirito card on him and it will make him do 80% more damage when he's going type advantage. 
Now, one thing I did notice is, you see, I pulled three of these. This 80% does not stack. I've tested it, um, and every time I take one of these off and add something else on, and then add another one on, I don't get like a magical 160%. And then I like a, what is it, a 250% or whatever it is. My math is terrible. Uh, it, these do not stack. It's 80% across the board and then whatever stat, individual stats that each card gives. So unfortunate, but it does mean that you can spread these out or you could level them up. And they'll talk about that in a different video. So that's enough of that. Let's get into some gameplay now. All right. So we're going into the highest like story stage that we can do, 1-7, energy required is 0, we have unlimited stamina, that's the beta, they're not going to cap us by that. We can see that we have a certain amount of enemies with a certain typing, so they are green, which means that we will have type advantage because we're fire. And then these are the drops that we can get, guaranteed coin, medium chance, medium chance, medium chance, medium chance. So that's pretty good, we always have a medium chance of getting some of these. And this is our party lineup, we do have skip ticket functionality here and you can switch between teams that you have pre-built, so that's cool, it's a pretty easy swap. And then you can go in and click this and you can edit the team as you want. And then click back and then you'll be back at the screen. So let's start the battle. Um, loading screens are okay in this game right now. Again, just beta, they will optimize it. There is a glitch where you can get stuck on an infinite load screen and that's totally fun. But hey, like I said, it's a beta. So now going into battle, I am currently playing on blue stacks, right? So I can map the movement keys to my keyboard. So WASD for me on the phone, it'll just be, you know, one thumb over here and one thumb over here. So this is your basic attack and you do kind of like zoom in when you're attacking. All right. So here I have been like binded or something or stunned by a unit by these guys so you can dodge out of the way with this button ba -ba -ba. dodge 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 i have noticed that the dodge mechanic is super clunky though so just be aware of that and then these are your two skills so we can go up to this guy and smack him with this skill did really did a lot of damage all right so we got a terp a perfect dodge there see how the screen kind of cut out for a time froze a little bit and I dodged. So that is the timely dodge mechanic. And then down here, this is your like alt meter. So if you keep hitting the boss, keep hitting enemies, this meter fills up. And once it goes up, you can get to that final like dual, dual blade kind of uh, meter that we saw in the character enhancement. But let's do a switch now. So let's get an attack. Just switch, there we go. And I timed it perfectly because he was about to hit me, so I parried, and I got a counter attack. And you can see time slowed down. I also killed them with the attack, so when you switch in, there is an attack guaranteed. And, you know, based on your timing, you can either just do an attack, or you could counter, and then knock them off guard. And then here we have rankings, so complete stage within 60 seconds without a single KO. And then records, this is where, like, ranking matters, so... Crap time, crap damage taken, and crap combo for a total rank of crap. <laughs> Alright, so let's go into like a boss fight now, and we'll try and build up that um, ultimate meter, and I'll show you out some like actual real gameplay of people not dying in one hit. So we will just navigate back through this. So we can go down to open, we can go to events, and then we can click on the blue eyed demon revived event battles this does have a bonus bonus drop for certain characters so i do have letha and i do have kirito and i do have these ability cards so i'm getting extra bonus there are milestone rewards for you know claiming uh points that goes all the way up kind of high although the rewards kind of stop and they just give skip tickets now which is fine and then there is a ranking but feature but that's not ready for beta yet so let's go into event battle and you can choose easy, medium, and hard. We'll go hard this time. See myself get wrecked in here. And then we'll start the fight. We have a medium chance of obtaining these, which are level up. Um, those are experience tokens, I guess, for lack of a better term. They help level up your unit. But again, we'll talk about leveling and dupes in a separate video. So here we're fighting the Gleam Eyes, the hardest difficulties. So we have to kind of play strategic. So let's open up with just a basic combo. 
All right, there's a timely dodge, so I dodged it, kind of time froze, and now we're going to attack his back, and then we're going to switch, open up with his combos, and then we're going to get knocked in, but we kind of canceled him out. So we dodge there again, we'll switch in Leafa, use her skills, we're knocking him around, and then we'll swap in Kirito, do his combos, and then we'll dodge here, dodge his attacks, and he's going to go on a rage, because we've hit an HP threshold, and now we have a quick time event, where if you win, you will counter attack, and you will hit him and cause him to break, which means that he leaves himself open to skills. Now you see this orange meter in the middle is slowly building up as we hit him, and that is our burst gauge. And if you get that out, you're going to do enhanced damage, and he's going to be knocked down again. So there's another dodge right here. Time slowed down, so now we have an opening. And now we're in burst mode. We're going to swap in Kirito. You see he's down, and we're doing a crap ton of damage, and our also our damage calculator is going up to S rank. We were originally capped at A, but now we're doing a lot of extra damage. Now we're at Fever, which is the most damage you could do, and he's dead. There we go. We didn't even get to use the uh, the ultimate right there because we just killed him so fast. So I probably could have, you know, taken a step back. But that's a boss fight. That's how a fight would normally go. So you get in, do some dodges, and there's a little bit of like soulsy dodging, parrying, timing with boss attacks. And now we've got Fever Rush rank, maximum damage 209,000 in one like combo. And then we have different ranks down here. So clear within 90 seconds. 400 damage or less, rush value of fever or more, and 50,000 damage in a single rush, which we got 200,000, so we're doing okay. So that's combat in this game. Dodging, basic attacks, special attacks, switching out, you know, familiar to the anime, switch, and you do an attack, you counter. So it's pretty basic, there's only three typings, you know, water, wind, and fire, essentially. Um, but yeah. My overall thoughts on the game as a beta right now is they're pretty hopeful. There is definitely potential for this game. It's still kind of rough. They are, you know, working out bugs. They are going to do a banner drop in a couple days to test how that works and how um, a new summon banner will affect the game. But let's end the video with a summon right here, and then I'll go through other summon animations later in a different video. So one SR or higher storage guaranteed <laughs> don't don't question it so let's do a scout now the animation the summon animation is actually pretty interesting you're walking down this hallway you cannot skip this hallway though and the music I, you probably can't hear it right now but there's like some rock music going on now we have a new challenge here comes a new challenger we're always going to be fighting gleam eyes and we've got kirito and based on you know his swords glow so that's a good sign now we've got an attack, and now we have a damage meter right here. And this will determine like what we're going to get. So we have a couple different animations. So here's a parry. And... Okay, so it looks like we're going to get an SSR because we're over a million damage here. So that's pretty good. Again, we'll go over the details later. But purple gems are our characters. Alright, another Leafa, a different Leafa. Okay, so gold gems are an SR character. And it could be an ability card, or it could be an actual unit themselves. And now, another Silica, another SR unit. So we got SR Kirito. Another purple, so rare. <laughs> the same Leafa. And the SSR is always generally at the end most of the time. Alright, so another SR. We should be close to the end. Close to the end. All right, here it is. And we got a dupe of Kirito. You could tell because you could see Kirito's face. Now, these images right here are super rough and super pixelated. So I think and I pray and I hope that they fix that, this resolution for these units right here. But, okay, so we've managed to pull three dupes of his cards and three dupes of him. <laughs> so we're working really well. But that's the initial gameplay video and thoughts. A little bit of basic animation. Let me know how you guys feel about this game and if you're excited for it. It does release sometime later this year, but let me know down in the comments. But for now, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you later.